In this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at uh, some examples to show how to subtract integers and a couple different uh, strategies for doing that. So, in the first one here, we have uh, positive 8 and we're going to subtract 5. So, positive 8, we would illustrate positive 8 by going 8, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And to subtract 5, taking 5 away, means we would go 5 back in the negative direction. So 4 and 5. So we're ending up here. So, so that should equal positive 3. So, so that's how we can subtract using a number line. So we go 8 to the right. Subtracting positive 5 means you're going 5 back. And we end up at positive 3. <coughs> Let's erase what's here. So can use the number line again. So in B here, uh, negative 4 is what we're starting with. So we will go over here to find negative 4 here. And again, taking 3 away, just like taking 5 away, I went 5 to the left. So taking 3 away, we will go 1, 2, 3 in this direction. So we end up at negative 7. Now, um, let's, well, we already solved it. Now, the difference between, <coughs> excuse, between B and C is very subtle here. We're starting with negative 4, and we're subtracting. But instead of subtracting 3, we're subtracting negative 3. So we're going to start the same way. We're going to go down to negative 4. So there's the negative 4. But, so when you subtract 3, remember we went 3 to the left, 3 in the negative direction. But we're subtracting the opposite. So we can't go in the same direction because we're subtracting the opposite number. So subtracting the opposite means we would actually be going 3 in this direction. And we end up at negative 1. Now I'm going to do uh, actually two more pairs of examples where it's almost the same except I'm changing the second number. So I'm going to go through the four of those showing on the number line and then I want to show a little more convenient way of how we can think of this. So, so let's go and get rid of this and take a look at D here. So in D, we have, so we're starting at negative 2. So there's the negative 2. And subtracting 8. So we're subtracting a positive 8. Like, think of this as like a temperature example. If you're at negative 2 degrees and you take 8 away, it's like it getting colder by 8 degrees. Okay. then you're going down the thermometer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and see we'd be at negative 10. So if the temperature was negative 2 and it went down 8 degrees, you'd be at negative 10. Okay, let's get rid of what I wrote on the number line. <coughs> so <coughs> this next one, We've got still starting with negative 2, so we're going to go down to negative 2. And instead of subtracting 8, we're going to subtract negative 8. So if you're so we're not subtracting 8 that we're going to go 8 to the left, but we'd actually be going 8 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so we end up at positive 6. So and again Subtracting a positive amount, you're going to the left. But if you're subtracting a negative, you actually end up going to the right. Okay, you would have to be the opposite of this. If that's going to the left, then this has to be going to the right. Okay, let's erase this. I'm going to do one more pair of examples, then I'm going to sort of generalize this. Okay, so negative 7 minus 2. So subtract 2. So we want to go... Oh, I didn't start at 0, did I? Sorry, let's start that over again. So, negative 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there's the negative 7. And if we're subtracting 2, that means we're going down the number line 2 more. So, it would be at negative 9. Now, uh, next one. Let's erase what's on our number line. So again, we're starting at negative 7, so we will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
and we're subtracting negative 2. So again, instead of subtracting 2 that would be going left, we're subtracting the opposite of the, neg the positive 2, the negative 2. So we'd be going 1, 2 in this direction, and we end up at negative 5. Okay, so let us let me erase what's on my number line. Now, so I want to generalize here. And so here's a rule for subtracting integers. And I'm going to show how it applies to all these, and then we'll do the last couple using this method. So, so one way you can subtract integers, it, okay, you keep the first integer. Okay, so if I was uh, redoing this one up here, you know, I would... Uh, I keep the 8, okay, still a positive 8 to begin with, okay, and I want to show you how this works here. And you change the subtraction to an add an add an addition of the opposite number. So I change this minus, this subtract 5, into adding the opposite of 5. See, subtracting positive 5, same as adding negative 5. And then you go back to your integer rules. If I have two integers, one's positive, one's negative, then I subtract the numbers. So I take a 5 away from 8, or 8 subtract 5 is 3. And you see that's the, the bigger the bigger number is positive, so that's why it's positive 3. Okay, second one here. So we keep the negative 4, and we change the subtraction into adding the opposite. So when you add two integers with the same sign, you add the 4 and the 3 to get the 7. And if they're the same sign, then they have to add the negative 7. Two integers with the same sign, add to whatever that common sign is. Uh, C here. So we've got negative 4 to start with. We change the subtraction into adding the opposite. So the opposite of negative 3 is a positive 3. Okay, so now I'm adding two integers with different signs. So I subtract 4 and 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. And you see the when you're adding two integers, one positive, one negative, different signs, you keep the sign as a negative, the bigger integer. Okay, so that's why it's negative 1. For D here, we keep the negative 2 at the beginning. And we change the subtraction to adding the opposites, the opposite of positive 8 is negative 8. Okay, So I'm adding two integers with the same sign now. So 2 and 8 would add to 10. And I keep the common sign because they're both negative. So it should be negative 10. For E here, I keep the first integer, negative 2, the same. I change my subtraction to adding the opposite. So this would be a positive 8. So in this case, we're adding a positive and a negative. There's one of each sign. So when there are different signs, we subtract 8 and 2. We take the difference between 2 and 8, which of course is 6. And you see there's the, the, the bigger one's positive. Okay, it's positive 8. So that's why the answer would be positive 6, just like this one was positive 6. For uh, F here, I would uh, keep my negative 7 at the beginning. And I change my subtraction to adding the opposite. So I'm adding two integers with the same sign. So 7 and 2 add to 9. And since these are both negative, the answer is negative. So it should be negative 9. For uh, G here, I keep my negative 7 at the beginning. And I change my subtraction into adding the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. And uh, another example of adding different signs, this one's negative and this one's positive. So I subtract 7 and 2 to get 5. And you see the bigger number is negative, so that's why it's negative 5. For uh, H here, there's my instructions, uh, I'm subtracting negative 6 and mm -hmm. negative 6. So this is what I would do. So I would go and keep my negative 6 at the beginning. And I change my subtraction into adding the opposite integer, the opposite of negative 6 would be a positive 6. Okay, I'm added, adding integers with the uh, with opposite signs. One's negative, one's positive. So I would subtract 6 and 6, which of course is 0. And if it's 0, there's no positive or negative. It's just 0. OK? 
Okay, and this is an example of opposites. See, I'm adding opposites, so it should be zero. If you look at, think about this one, I'm subtracting the same number. There's a rule about if you take a number and subtract the same number, you should always get zero. Like for the same reason that 100 minus 100 is zero, negative six, take away negative six would also be zero. Uh, last one here, I have my negative five at the beginning, and I change my subtraction to adding the opposite. So the, the opposite of negative nine would be a positive nine. Uh, they're different sign integers, so the nine is positive while the five is negative. So I subtract five from nine, which is four, and I keep the, the uh, sign of the larger number. See, there's four more positives in positive nine than there are negatives in negative five. So that's why the answer would be positive four. So remember this, this always works for subtracting integers. Keep the first integer, change the subtraction to addition of the opposite number. And then you just have to remember you're, you're adding, um, adding rules for adding integers. And that's the end of the tutorial.